Welcome to Iron Arrows. So today we're just going to show you what we're working on. We have 10 chicks. We, we saw Rhode Island Reds at Tractor Supply and couldn't resist. We got seven of those and we got three golden comets. And then over here we have a project. It's a deep freezer. So the deep freezer stopped working. So, so um, I took off the um, heat sensor and the well the heat the thermal um, fuse and it was bad I tested it with um, a multimeter and uh, it was definitely bad I've also checked the starter switch the starter relay was also bad so what I believe happened is the starter relay went bad the compressor heated up and then it tripped the, um, the thermal fuse so buying both you get them on Amazon um, roughly ten dollars a piece which is they come in a two-pack so that's good so we are going to get them fixed so the reason why this is in here is because we hooked our solar panels to the top of our house so we're going to run this freezer off the solar panels that are sitting on the top of our house yeah they're like on our <clears throat> back porch roof so you see down the electronics in the front, it's different than a normal um, freezer. Uh, that's a part that will allow it to change from a freezer to a refrigerator and then back again, whatever, you can set it for whatever temperature you want it to set. Yeah, um, you did that years ago and did it's that a years ago. thing from China yep. and you had to figure it out without yep. directions. Everything's in Chinese, <laughs> but it works. Um, so when we put this video back together, I'll do another video showing you the, how I checked the, the video. coupling Freezing. and how I checked the relay to switch to make sure that if they were good or bad. I'll show you how to put it back together and I'll also show you the, um, com the um, controller for this so it can be a fridge or a freezer. We've yeah. been running it as a, fr as a freezer, but we're thinking about if things don't go really all that great, maybe we'll run it as, as a, a fridge. So, um, we'll see what the fall has. We'll just see what's coming in the fall. I don't know. Just, we just want to kind of be as ready as we can, which leads us to the garden, which brings me to the garden. <laughs> we had some sod. We had to dig a French drain here. This is just a little side note. And it's just a wet area. We put sod, but it was like the hottest week of the year. And so it didn't really work out. So now we have mud, but we have hay, so whatever. Here's our little fire pit. We have so much wood to process, like it's out of control. But we'll get there. We keep wanting to have fires, but it keeps raining. <laughs> Crazy chicken. We have the goats up because we were out today and we didn't want them getting tangled. Here is the garden. All the chickens want to follow me. Nope, no. We have some beans and basil and marigolds here and some other things. We still have our 15 cucumber plants down here, down this row. Um, we're working on solarizing this soil because we had a lot of fungus, so we need to fix it. We have like little staples in the ground and this is just what's left from the summer garden. We ripped out all the squash that were here. We still have a lot of tomato plants, but we did rip out probably four that were just really fungus, fungus, fungusy. <laughs> Here are lots of wonderful things going on: basil and kale, microgreens. I think and microgreens. They're both microgreens. Oh, sprouting mix. So this was kale, but it didn't take, so I switched it to sprouting mix. Really old seeds, but it's working. Microgreens, red Russian kale. So it was just in this little area, and then it was so full that I thinned it out and moved it over here, but as you can see, it didn't really take right here. So I did the same thing with the basil. It was just this rectangle, and then I made it into a square and moved it over. So that took okay. Um, I have one purpley looking basil. It's pretty. Uh, this is... Okay, so these just get erased. I wrote on it, I promise, but the sun and the rain. This is arugula. 
we can start eating this. It's gonna start getting really spicy. We'll plant more of that for sure. Spinach is doing okay. Um, I had some things here. I think it was peas and some lettuces and nothing took. So I planted some pickle bush cucumbers and I planted them like three or four days ago and they're doing awesome. There's like five plants, six plants right there. I did the same thing right here. Put three in there. Took off right away. Swiss chard champion radishes. I did the same thing with this bed that I did with those others. It was just like half of this square. And then I moved it over and added it over here, but it's more abundant over here. Whenever you transplant something, like, they don't always love that. So <laughs> we have some beets, some more radishes, um, turnips. These are the purple top white turnips. These, these are all okra. These are champion radishes. These are beets. Yeah, these three are beets, and those are that's a turnip. So, kind of hit or miss. Uh, some of my seeds are old. We do have watermelon that we planted here and here. It doesn't look like it sprouted, so we'll probably plant some beans there or something. Um, if anyone knows what's going on with my tomatoes, please feel free to tell me. Um, I've pruned some of that off, but um, have that like wilty thing going on, and then. My pepper plant wilted. I've never had this happen. Really sad. I have another pepper here. And I have a pepper there. Uh, I have a... This is a hybrid tomato. That looks pretty good. Three blueberry bushes. And then another jalapeno pepper over there. So this is what's left of the garden. Here's one of my basil plants. That's kind of pretty. Another pepper over there. Right there tomato plant that's on the ground. I need to stake that up. We just bought some more tea and U posts. I really like the U posts because they have the holes in them. So you can tie the string into the hole. Um, here's another tomato plant. But so we just tried to get all these off the ground, all these tomato plants. The bamboo did not really hold up throughout the summer. Um, so because it just degrades with the sun. So, but there we go. There's the garden, fall garden, beginning of September. So I'm kind of loosely looking at planting by the moon. So last night was a full moon. So in the next few days, I'm gonna start planting more, wherever something didn't sprout, I'm just gonna start planting root vegetables. So turnips, rutabaga. I might have to order some seeds. I'm not sure if I have any. And uh, beets and parsnips, anything that's under the ground. My carrots and parsnips did not sprout. So we'll see. I'll see what other root vegetables I have and I might order some rutabagas. We'll see. Um, yeah, we'll see what I can plant. And then once after the new moon, between the new moon and the full moon, you plant things that um, flower above ground and the things that you eat above ground, like arugula. Um, what else would that be? Okra. So arugula, okra, kale, spinach, basil, like the things that you eat that come above ground, cucumbers. But um, yeah. So that's an exciting thing. I don't know if it makes a difference. It has something to do with the moon and the, the way that it pulls on the earth, you know, with tides and stuff. So it's not like a super weird thing. It's like a, a gravity thing. So <laughs> here's some green beans that I planted. So I need to um, separate these out a little bit because they're too close. Those are bush, bush beans. This is like a micro basil plant. And then here's a little tomato plant. So... I planted way too many of these small tomatoes. Next year I'm going to do more of the medium and large tomatoes. Um, these are fun, but like you're not going to can <laughs> a bunch of these. So anyway, but they're fun to eat. Alrighty, well happy gardening. Um, I've been noticing that there are stores that have fall plants out. So if you haven't planted any seeds, hit up your tractor supply or your Lowe's and grab some plants. All right, happy planting.
Iron Arrow signing out.